Good morning. Welcome to Weekends in Rugby. I'm Howie. Today I'm going to show you how to make biscuits. We are in historic rugby in Tennessee up on the Upper Cumberland Plateau and uh, it is a beautiful day outside. Um, I started making biscuits years ago and developed this recipe through trial and error. I love making biscuits on weekend mornings and it's a great thing to do for your friends, for your family, or even for yourself like I'm going to do this morning. Um, I am starving, so let's get started. The first thing that we need is flour. I use organic, all-purpose, unbleached flour for this. And I usually flour the board with a little more than a half a cup of flour to start with to keep it from sticking. That's gonna be for the pen and for the board. And then it's two cups of flour. One. Get the oven going at 500 degrees. Go ahead and preheat it so it can be warming up while we make our biscuits. And next is baking powder and salt. So it's one tablespoon. You want to make sure to get the very level one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. You just give that a good mix. Mix the baking powder, the salt and the flour together and then we are going to add our butter. So I cut the butter long ways and I flip it over, cut it long ways again and I cut it into cubes. And we're going to take our biscuit cutter which is basically just a handle with these blades. Now you can use it with two knives, and then let's pretend that's a knife. If you were to do it with two knives, you would cut it through there, or you can just take it and squish it up with your hands through there until you get to like a coarse um, mixture of it. But we're gonna use our biscuit cutter. We're gonna cut it all through there until the butter is small enough that you can sort of envision it being, there being a little bit of butter in every biscuit that we, that we cut out. So one of the most important ingredients in my biscuits is the buttermilk. And I use buttermilk that is local to East Tennessee. It's Cruz Farm buttermilk. And it's a very thick buttermilk. And so you'll see that it moves in the container pretty thick. There are buttermilks that they have in the supermarket that are much thinner. They're more like 2% um, or they are like skim milk. And you end up using less of those in the recipe. When it's thick like this, you have to use a lot more. And if it's thick buttermilk, like this is, we're probably going to need about one and three fourths cups. If it's thin buttermilk that's like 2% or skim milk, we could need as little as one cup. So we're just gonna give that a good mix with our fork until we make sure that all of the flour and butter mixture is moistened. <laughs> So we see that it's all incorporated. So we're not actually going to knead this dough. We're going to do that through the rolling process. Keep turning it over. So you take it and take your fork and run it underneath and flip it over. And turn it and run it underneath and flip it over. That's a good way to mix it. You don't want to just stir it and stir it and stir it. Now, before I turn out the dough onto the board, I'm going to take my rolling pin and I am going to get it good and coated and get the flour kind of all over the board before I turn that off on there. Ready to go with that. And then we're just gonna turn it out onto the board. Push it together just a little bit. We're still not kneading it. And we turned it over so that there's flour on the top also. I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna get it into a rectangle on the board. We're gonna do this a couple of times and I'm gonna show you how to fold it that helps us get layers in the biscuits. Here's where the folding part starts. So I'm gonna take it and fold it in a third, and a third, then I'm gonna take it this direction, fold it in a third again, and then roll it over to fold into another third. 
bit. So we fold this, usually it's about three times, sometimes it's four. You can see I'm having to put a little bit more elbow grease into it in order to get it to roll out. So I think that this next time will be our last time. I'm gonna fold it one more time. If it sticks to the board a little bit, that's okay. Just pull it up and we're gonna fold all that in. getting a little sticky. I'm going to pull some of my flour over from the edge of the board and put this back on. Make sure there's plenty of flour on my pen and then I'm going to roll it out this final time. Now this time I'm not going to roll it out quite as big as I had been. I'm going to roll it out about the size of the cast iron skillet that I'm using because that's going to be about how many biscuits I want. And then I'm going to pull it up. So you saw how it sort of pulled back together a little bit as it pulled up. That's what we want. We want it to not be stretching it. If you don't have a biscuit cutter or a graduated set of biscuit cutters, you can do it with just a glass and, uh, and pop them out that way. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push down. Don't turn like this. Um, if you turn, you're crimping the edges and it keeps them from puffing up as much. So I tend to just kind of rock it back and forth a little bit and then let it fall out. We're gonna just put those right into our skillet. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can do these on a sheet pan, a small sheet pan. But I like the cast iron skillet because, again, the sides of the skillet allow that steam to be captured there and puff those biscuits even more. We're going to put them in the oven. We're going to put them in for um, starting at about 12 minutes. We're going to keep an eye on them. And then when they're at the desired brownness, that could be up to 14, 16 minutes, depending on the weather outside and how hot your oven really gets. So we're going to go put these in and we'll check on them in a few minutes. I think the biscuits are ready. Yep. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy little handle grabber. Pull this out, look at that. Okay, so the color is uniformly brown. I don't always get the brown on there every time, but uh, today because of whatever humidity levels or anything like that, it turned brown and they look pretty good. I think I'm ready to have one. We are going to Try one of our biscuits. Open it up. Put a little butter on it. Close it up and let it get melty. And we are going to put a little of our ginger peach jam on it. And there we have it. Our biscuit. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make biscuits and I hope you feel confident enough to make them on your own this coming weekend. It is a gorgeous day outside, so I'm gonna clean up and take my dog for a walk. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.